All right, on our way to Yogi Dada's home studio. I'm excited about it. I can't believe that she does all this stuff out of her home. I was reading about her earrings and they take up to like 48 hours. That is complete. insane. Insane. I do wish I was more artistic. <laughs> I'm hoping some of her skills will rub off on me. I'm Sarah Stone Smith. And I'm Courtney Goolsby. In this series, we highlight the latest movers, shakers, and tastemakers in the South. Join us as we say it Southern with artist Yogi Dada. Yogi, thank you so much for having us here in your home studio in Birmingham, Alabama. Thank you for coming to visit me today. It's so wonderful to have you guys here. It's so inspiring here. Ah, thank you. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it works for me. Yogi. Now that's your nickname, right? Yes. My real name is Yolanda. Yogi is a childhood nickname that I don't know where it came from. I don't have any affinity for the baseball player, the cartoon character. I just loved Yogi. Dada came much later, which comes from Dadaism. Okay. which is a school of belief that art is whatever you believe it is. Mm. And I just kind of adopted it as my own personal philosophy. Are you originally from Birmingham? I was actually born in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, but okay. grew up in upstate New York. When I was little, my mother was the first person who put a brush in my hand at about four years old and taught me about watercolor. I took theater, dance, cello, piano, so she just submerged me in creativity and going to school in New York exposed me to a lot of arts coming to the South was a different soil for those seeds to grow. I love that. But you have a fine arts degree, right? Yes. Okay. Bachelor's of Fine Arts. So do you use that degree in your art? Or how does your Barely. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> so it was worth Barely. all the debt. Then. Yeah. Was, well, mm -hmm. I'll tell you, the thing I really took away from my college experience was being exposed to Dadaism. Mm. It was the one thing that clicked in art history class. And I was just like, oh, wait a minute, art is whatever you believe it is. That was the basis for who I am today as an artist. But you stepped away from it for a minute, right? Yeah, okay, let's <laughs> many, talk many about minutes. that because it's all about a journey. By the time I graduated college, I really just was fully persuaded I did not have the gift to paint. Oh. I just, I would not paint. Hmm. And um, went into optician. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. It makes okay. sense, that right? That's a good transition. <laughs> Gotta use the other side of the brain. Mm -hmm. Put that to So um, I was very good at it, and I did that for almost 20 years. Oh, wow. And one day, I had a friend who knew I had a degree in art, and she was just always like, why don't you use your degree and go back into art? So she had a sips and strokes type event at her house. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'll come. I'm sipping, but I'm not stroking. <laughs> <laughs> And when I got in the door, she stuck a paintbrush in my hand and had a canvas set up. She was like, paint tonight, now. Mm. And so for the first time in almost 20 years, I painted that night. Wow. That was about 2008. In 2009, my mother got sick with breast cancer. Mm. But all those years in between, it was always her prayer that I would leave my job and go back to my craft. Mm. And so a year after she passed, I actually started painting again with a pair of hand-painted earrings. So why earrings? Why start there? I was gifted some earrings. They were beautiful, but they didn't have anything on the back side. They were really big. And I took a picture and the black side was sewing. I was like, hmm, I don't like that. I'm gonna make me some earrings that have both sides painted. And I just chose to tell my story. You know, where I'm from and what do I do? Poet and New York and all these things. And I wore those earrings in Atlanta on a visit and everywhere I went. Subway stations, grocery stores, restaurants, gas. Where did you get those earrings? <sighs> Do you have a card? Everywhere I went, and I was just like, no, I don't have a card. And I had no intention of doing this as a business. As luck would have it, I come back to Birmingham and I started getting commission orders. People like, well, you put my favorite football team on here or do something for my kids. And the people that liked it hung around more people that liked it and it just started growing. And I find it's not just about artistry or a business, but actually the human connection and storytelling. And that's what's important to me. It's one of my taglines, Yogi Dada, Art for Humanity. Well, you're doing canvases, you're doing earrings, you're doing more jewelry too, right? Big, mm -hmm. small. Anything. I have an artist friend, we have a saying, anything that'll be still, we can paint it. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. So bangles, cufflinks, I've done pendants, gauges, rings. Dog tags. Dog tags, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. Nurses badges. Okay. And then I started in 2018 with my first time really, really getting back onto canvas. Mm -hmm. And it was an overwhelming experience. Wow. This piece behind us is just phenomenal. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. That I did. I think that was just this spring. Is this but, a commission piece? You do commission? Out of my own soul. <laughs> <laughs> I commissioned it. What's the best part about doing this every day? Freedom. Mm. Freedom. I am doing today and getting paid for today what I loved and did as a child. And what about advice for young artists? Uh, it sounds maybe cliche, but honestly staying true to yourself. Really believing if you have a God-given gift to do what you do, follow it, but also don't be afraid to do the work part. I actually went and got a business license. Imagine that, I got there a peddler's go. license. I did a business plan. And having the business aspect there opened a lot of doors and opportunities because it shows that not only you're creative, but you're serious about taking care of your artwork. But I just want artists to be free and educated. We've had the best time getting to know you and seeing all your beautiful art. But where can someone who's not in Birmingham find your artwork? People can see my artwork on my website, yogidada.com. I'm also on social media on Facebook under Yogi Dada World and Instagram, Yogi Dada Art. That's my world. Thanks so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. On the next Say It Southern, we're thrilled to meet up with wardrobe stylist and entrepreneur, Megan LaRussa Chenoweth. She's been making it easy for women of all ages, shapes, and sizes to dress for any occasion. Whether it's they're retiring and they need to figure out what that looks like, or if they've just had a family, or they're changing jobs, I really love helping my people figure out what's right for their stage of life. 